So if you don't know what a radiometer is, it's a way to measure the amount of radiation hitting an object. It slowly starts moving. The brighter the light, the faster it will move. Now when this was first invented, there were a lot of wrong theories, and even today there are still a lot of wrong theories explaining why this is turning. So today let me see what happens when I shine the world's brightest flashlight on it, and then I'll tell you the real reason why it's turning. Okay, 30,000 30, lumens right now. Oh, the fan kicked on on the flashlight. 60,000 lumens. <laughs> Holy cow, it's gonna take off in there. Whoa. 100,000 lumens. I think it's reached its max speed in there. It can't go any faster. So when it was first invented, Crooks, the inventor of it, he actually put forth the explanation that it's just like a water wheel. So when you pour water on a water wheel, it causes it to start spinning due to the pressure of the water hitting the wheel. But the white side is reflecting it more than the black side, so the white side is the thing that should be getting pushed more, so it should spin in the opposite direction. What if it's a result of the light hitting the black veins, and that causes the air to heat up and expand, and that pushes the black vein and turns it in a circle? And this explanation is actually the one that I've heard the most. The problem with the pressure explanation is that even though the pressure is increasing, which means the molecules are moving faster and create a greater net force on the black side than the white side, the problem is, is that they block other molecules from reaching it. So the ultimate result is that they nullify each other out and there's no net pressure on the black side as opposed to the white side. So the real reason that a Crookes radiometer spins is called thermal transpiration. So the molecules on this side that happen to hit the vein going this direction are going to have a high force and the ones on this side are going to have a low force because they're colder. Now if you add up both of these vectors, then that means you get a force in this direction, which causes it to be pushed in this direction. For example, if you just put your warm hands on it or pour warm water on it, then it causes it to spin in the same direction it spins when you shine light on it. So the glass heats up and emits infrared radiation that you can't see, and the black side picks that up more than the white side, and it heats up the air around it on the inside, and again, due to thermal transpiration, it causes it to spin in the direction of the black side. So when you put it in the freezer or put an ice cube on it, that means that the veins are now hotter than the glass. And so the black side is going to emit its infrared radiation better than the white side. So it's going to actually cool down quicker than the white side. So in this case, the black side gets colder than the white side, and the white side heats up and causes it to spin in the opposite direction. 